UI UX design is becoming more and more popular and many people are trying to get into this field, but they really don't know how. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the whole process of becoming a UI UX designer and help you land your first job. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Arash, a UI UX designer who helps people learn to design user interfaces and experiences. During the past five years, I've helped over 30,000 students around the globe to learn UI UX design and build their design careers from scratch. And I realized what most beginners struggle with. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest path to become a UI UX designer in less than three months. Yes, you heard me right. Three months. And here is how. First, let's analyze why UI UX design has become so popular. Well, the way we live, work, and socialize nowadays has shifted completely in the past decade. Thanks to technological advancements, websites, and apps, we can achieve our day-to-day -day goals easier than ever before. But in order to build a great product, whether it's a mobile device, a website, or app, companies need to deliver a great user experience with an awesome user interface to the end user. And that's when UI UX designer comes into play. Checking out the average salary of a UX designer in the US and Europe, you can see that on average, a UX designer in the United States earns $80,000 and in Europe, $55,000 annually. Compare it to the graphic design positions in the US and Europe, and you will see the gap is huge. That's why we see more and more graphic designers switching to the UI UX design field. But how can you get into this field of design? Well, just like any other profession, in order to become a UI UX designer, first you need to learn the fundamentals and design principles. You need to understand how to pick colors, what contrast is, how to work with typography, etc. This step is very important because if you don't build a strong foundation first, you will struggle throughout your design journey. You should also decide on what type of work you are interested in, whether it's UI or UX design, because you don't want to be a jack of all trades and master of none. At this stage, I suggest you take a beginner course of your choice to learn the ins and outs of UI UX design. If you want to learn about design principles, UI elements, and visual design in general, you can download my free ebook called Essentials of User Interface Design from the link in the description down below. Once you've learned the design principles, it's time to learn a design tool. You can use Figma, Adobe XD, Sketch, etc. But my recommendation is Figma. It's a free, versatile tool allowing you to design, prototype, and even collaborate with other designers in real time. One of the questions I've been asked so many times is, should we learn all these design software? And the answer is no. As a beginner, you just need to master one design software and learn all its features and tools. So once you master one tool, stick to it. The next step is, to start designing, and this is the best part, because finally, you can apply everything you've learned to a project. But wait, if you're just starting out, you're not gonna have any clients. And if you don't have any clients, then you're not gonna have any project to work on. So how should you practice then? Well, there are a couple of things you can do. First, you can start with a daily design challenge. The idea is to build the habit of designing every single day. There are many websites you can use for this purpose, and one of the most popular ones is Daily UI. It will send you a daily UI design challenge to solve. The second thing you can do is redesign existing websites and apps. This way you can learn what works and what doesn't, how to improve an existing design, and find your weaknesses and strengths. One thing I'd like you to do is publish your daily design on social media and seek feedback. Believe me, there are many people out there that even could benefit from your daily posts because you might be ahead of them in this design journey. Now that you've practiced what you've learned, it's time to create your portfolio. First, let me define a portfolio. A portfolio is basically a well-curated presentation allowing you to showcase your best projects, design processes, case studies, and so much more. 
a potential employer or client will review your portfolio to understand your design approach and see if you're a good fit for their company. One thing I'd like to point out here is that a portfolio is not a resume. So don't mistake it for that. A resume describes your background, qualifications, and past experiences, and it fits on one page usually. On the other hand, a portfolio includes selected projects with in-depth explanations about your design process. Keep in mind that to get a job, you don't need to have so many projects in your portfolio. I suggest including at least two projects and two case studies. Moreover, focus on a specific type of work. For instance, if you're applying for a visual design job, include more UI design projects than other types of projects. But you may ask, Arash, I don't know how to code, so how am I gonna create a portfolio? Well, you don't need to know how to code at all. You can use online platforms for this matter. My favorite one is Behance, which allows you to create your professional looking portfolio in minutes for free. It also increases your chances of being recognized in the market and helps you connect with other designers. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? All right, your portfolio is ready and it's actually time to apply for jobs. Make sure to apply for multiple jobs at once and later you can decide which one suits you best based on the job requirements. If you go to an interview and you get rejected, don't be discouraged. Remember, it's part of the journey. Just because a few companies rejected you, it doesn't mean you are not a good designer. It just means that your skill sets need to be more developed. One thing you can do in the interviews is to ask questions like, what would be your main responsibilities or what kind of projects should you work on? If you're unsure about the types of questions you will be asked during an interview, don't worry, because Google has a product called Interview Warmup. It's totally free and it helps you prepare for your job interview. This website will ask you different types of questions from your design background to technical questions. So make sure to check it out. It's awesome. Last but not least, keep practicing. Even if you're not a beginner, you should always keep learning. There is no other way to improve your design skills. If you want to learn more about UI UX design principles, make sure to check out this video right here. And if you want to know the 10 UI design mistakes to avoid, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.